Here's a new and Tom top tip for using the focus pads part three. So on this one, we're gonna work on building up combinations, but holding the pads in the correct position. So earlier we said about moving back for doing one punch and also holding the pad across for a roundhouse kick. So now we wanna put that together by doing that movement. So remember, I'm not forcing this hand forward because that's going to stuff up his kick. I move back as I hold the pad. Now, if I want him to kick to the body, then this arm goes underneath. If I want him to kick to the head, this hand goes on top. Okay, and if I want him to do an inside roundhouse kick, then it comes on the other side. So if I do it facing straight this way, I'm moving back and holding the pad up like that. Or if we do it for an inside roundhouse kick, I move back that way. Like that.